Hey, hey Gen Z Society. I'm Ray. I'm Anushka. I'm Wally. I'm Sean. And this is Gen, Gen Z, Z Speaks. Speaks. Ghosting? <laughs> awesome. <Lovely>. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> a lot if of you either, If you're the one ghosting or if you get ghosted. If I get ghosted, fine. I don't care. But like... <laughs> no, listen. If I get ghosted... If I get ghosted, it hurts. Really? Right, it hurts. Yeah. It does I think it hurts. hurts. What, what, within two days... Because I no feel like fight. it goes by, but I feel like it's kind of... You know, it's that, it's that notion of closure. For, for a lot of people, it hurts. Because yeah, it's like, it what did I do wrong? <laughs> no, it's I, not even for, like, for what me, did I do wrong? Uh, for me, I feel like I know the world doesn't revolve around me. And if I did something wrong, fine. But I know that... Because I have ghosted people. Like, I stopped talking. And most of the time... <laughs> Most of the time, it's not because of them. It's because I was going through some shit. And, and I, was I like, think that's so important that you've said that because it ties to this idea that I think once you realize in life that everyone's got their own stuff going on, not everything revolves around you. You almost sort of develop a new sense of peace because you realize someone might ghost you because I've had instances where people ghosted me or things happen where I genuinely brought it all myself and I thought, what's going on? And then I find out later... They had a crisis. Like, they had a thing that happened to mm. them. It's, it, it's mm. not even about me. Like, okay, I'm looking at everybody else. I, I know, mean, and that's why I'm saying some people aren't there yet, and that's why I think we need to help them get there or support them when it does happen. Or I think to tell someone, oh, you got ghosted. Or people could just give a reason. Like, it's not hard to say, like, look, things mm. are not working out. I don't want to talk to you. At least, it, at least the other person who's on the receiving end of the ghosting knows what's up. Yeah. Knows what's up and they don't have to, like, spend so much, like, they energy. Yeah. Like, it's very draining. It's called being polite and communication is not that freaking hard. Mm. No, but you could just be like, look, things aren't working out and, like, I hope you have a good life. Bye. That's the and end. I feel like that stems from a sense of maturity. Uh, people who don't do that usually, they're not mature enough. And usually when, I, like, I've spoken to my friends about this, I'm like, hey, this happened or this person ghosted, why? Or, and they usually say to me, their reason is, maybe they thought that was the easiest way about it. They okay, don't even want to open pussies, up. Pussies, like... They are, I agree. <laughs> no, wait, think about but this. Think about some this. Some people aren't there yet mentally. They're not yeah, strong. Yeah, it's more for Okay, wait, 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 think about this, right? Why do people ghost? That's the central question, right? Because they're Avoidance. cowards. Or, or they could have reason to ghost because they've had bad experiences in the past with hostility. And I think... It's a, it's a protection mechanism. They're trying to protect it's, themselves. They're trying to protect right. themselves. It's self-preservation. They look at something... Something made them feel sus, uh, or, and this is a hard one to swallow, but it happens, something better came along. Like, <laughs> yeah. Something right, better right. Okay, along. wait, but, but what, in what circumstances? I know you're against ghosting. Mm. In what circumstances do you think ghosting should be acceptable? If someone, for example, is harassing you, sure, go ahead and ghost them. But say you're in, like, an actual relationship, you have no idea that anything's wrong, and then they can ghost you out of nowhere. Wait, people okay, ghost when they're in a relationship? Oh, yeah, I think yeah, okay, wait, that's, And I think no. that changes everything, because that's tough. And but it comes to maturity, like. I feel like it's yeah. something, it, it's gonna, it's, it's like a perennial problem, it's always gonna happen, mm -hmm. but it's fine. Like, I think we need, even at, as the other party being affected, you should learn how to live with it and have you find your own closure and mindfulness and right. spirituality. Right. And, <laughs> yeah, it's like, I, right. for, for me, it's just, I never heard about the committed relationship thing. I didn't even know that really happened often. It like, happens. That, that's it terrifying. It happens. <laughs> that's <laughs> terrifying. I don't know, at the end of the day, this instance and many other ones, it, without getting too, like, spiritual, whatever, for me, it's about this idea of, like, self-actualization like just detach from the outcome like i feel like what gave me a lot of peace recently is i realized that in life anything can happen and you got to be prepared for all have you been ghosted while being in a relationship well not in a relationship but i've had people ghost me like, was it like serious or was it very casual most of the time it's been pretty casual i think if it was serious it would hurt more but i think in any instance when something happens that you don't expect and it hurts you if you're not mature enough you can let it consume you anything like gen z's if you're talking about this it's very fast moving like yeah, that's the reason yeah. why we go so so because we want to move things along fast everything's always so yeah it's always like i want it now wait, wait, right? no, but, but you have to admit back then when you're like during the Snail boomer mail. era <laughs> like the boomer era people who got married right there were studies done on this mm -hmm. they got married to somebody who lived just down the block it's yeah. hard to go somewhere exactly mm -hmm. in this day and age that option is more advertised than ever the yeah. Most I'm not, paradox I, of choice, I wanna, right? I want to make it clear, yeah. it's guys as well. But some girls, you know, they post. You have fifty dudes in the comments that are like, I've been in relationships with, with girls where, like, I see, like, while we're in a relationship, they got like fifty dudes like simping over her. She's got all the options, but guys. But she's as simping well. back. Sometimes, never like, they reply back. It's not a problem if guys are like commenting on your girls' photos. It's a problem when she's commenting back. And okay, she was back. commenting back and everything. Okay, then she's so, like, stupid. So, like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so let's just clarify that. But I guess what I'm saying is to, to come back to what you're saying. Because of that, it is fast moving because people, the yeah, options are there, things so. are moving. And I think back in the day, you're right. 
you couldn't really subscribe to that type of thinking because right. not yeah. only yeah. did technology not permit you to really know who else was out there, you just knew the people in your local area. Mm. Back in the day, like, it was considered a grand gesture, you know, okay, not to be too cliche, but you go up to someone's house and you're, like, serenading them with, like, a guitar and stuff. Like, that was considered, now like... you sent a Snapchat, right? Do you know what I mean? It was more personal. <laughs> yeah, now, now if I mean? you like, come to serenade someone at their block, you, it's probably, creepy. you probably get arrested. Yeah, you probably yeah. get arrested. So, like, <laughs> I think the danger is, like, understanding that it's, like, a paradox of choice. Like, the dating culture is a very fast-paced. Like, you can see that there's many people DMing. But the thing is, like, in this scenario, you need to know what's true to you. Like, and you cannot, like... In, in the past, you you literally, like... The guy that's next to your block, that's the only guy that's on the block. Like, right, that's, right. That, that's the whole, like... That's the dude. Yeah, that's the dude. <laughs> but in this day and age, because everything's instant, it's on a plate, it's there, people kind of go, look, if I'm not feeling it, I move. Like, it's very fast paced. Yeah, that's why ghosting happens. And Singapore's so small, you might bump into somebody you ghost. Oh my time. god. <laughs> that's what happens. You see them and then, like, you're like... Shit. Yeah, so... <laughs> so I, this is why you ghost it. Okay, it's, it's good looking. I guess. Oh, just say, oh, that was, uh, I didn't own that account. <laughs> <laughs> that bubble yeah, account yeah, yeah, yeah. was not mine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they'd be like, oh, it was my friends using my account to text you. Like, it wasn't actually me. And I'd be like, that's fucking bullshit. Like, okay. Thank you very much for watching Gen Z Speaks. Please watch out for the next episode.